Any elimination game, right, Stephen A., is a must-win game. Yeah. But you see something even bigger, even more consequential here for Los Angeles. I Why? think wholesale changes should take place. Oh. This team, they, 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 listen, I'm done with this team. I'm done with this team. They lose the series. I'm done with them. Listen, let's 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 take into account the consideration. Number one, you got Kawhi Leonard locked up. He's the worst superstar you could possibly have because he's hurt half the time, and the other half the time he does nothing to market the sport and your brand. Okay, so you're not generating every new revenue that way, right? Will Bond, Bob Myers, <laughs> let me help y'all out here. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, the four combined. Stay with me. 34 All-Star selections, five NBA scoring titles, five assist titles, two league MVPs, two Defensive Player of the Year awards, and obviously only Kawhi with the two NBA titles. Kawhi and PG as teammates, they've been together how many times? Only been in the lineup together 46% of their regular season games, 62% of their playoff games, okay? And by the way, they both paid a combined $386 million. I don't even have an NBA Finals appearance to show for it. And that was just with them two. That was just with them two. Let me get to Harden with you, all right? What we got with Harden, James Harden right here. Ten All-Stars, six-time all NBA first team, one-time league MVP, 75th anniversary team, three scoring titles, two assists, ain't been in the finals since 2012 when he was a reserve. Let me get to Russell Westbrook. Over the last four games, this is it. I mean, this is over the last four games. This is Russell Westbrook now. This is Russell Westbrook now. Seven, one, five, and six. What is that? Those are the points he scored in the last four games. Seven, one, five, and six. By the way, in one game, he had more flagrant fouls than points. I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on. At some point in time, you have to look at this team and you have to say, yo, we know what they can do. We know what their resume is. We know they could ball. But do you get it together? Do you pull it together? Do you produce results? That's not a, what we're getting. I, I got a question. Move on. To, to no, piggyback no, off that. Don't ask him because then, then we'll be, we won't get to talk. I, well, I apologize. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's rhetorical. <laughs> it's rhetorical. Do you trust them? No. I said this during the season and maybe got myself in a momentary bit of trouble with a certain coach. Do you trust them? Do you trust that group at the championship level? That's the context. Not all the individual accolades you mentioned, how many times people have won hardware. Do you trust them at the championship level as a group? And the answer is not yet. And tonight goes to your point. That's why everything's riding. But Bomber's in a tough position, Steve Bomber, the Clippers owner, because he's got to take a product into that new dome. He's got to sell it in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough position yeah. to be in. You, you can't just say, I'm going to just move these guys out if they don't win, if they get eliminated tonight in Dallas, which I think they will. What happens going forward? Yeah, Big look, picture. Um, one of those guys is a champion, right? Yes. Stephen A., one of them is. Yes. Yep. Yep. They're all in the back nine. That's not being critical of them. They've all had their best days, all four of those guys. And, all, and they're all Hall of Fame players. All right? of them. I think they're yeah. all Hall of Fame players. Yeah. You're catching them at a point in their career where they're not in their prime. So would you try to keep James Harden well, this offseason? He, he, here, here's the George? issue. We've all played poker. You paid Kawhi Leonard, which means you put your chips in the middle. Yeah. You can't pull them out. You're, you play, you got to play the hand now. The hand and that's might, the problem. The it, full it, hand. You, you have know to why? play the hand. Say why. Yeah, Say why. Well, know why, right? Because yeah. you paid the wrong yeah, yeah. guy. Right. Well, I don't. I, I would have. I would have gave and, money to, to but, Paul George but, before but, I gave it to Kawhi Leonard. Let, let me I see. mean, he's healthy just the time to get the check. And then after that, he's hurt. And I'm let not saying say it's something. illegitimate. I know he's hurt. Let me say but, something. But come on. What we don't talk enough about is player leadership. Okay. And you talked about Kawhi Leonard. He's a fantastic. Who's the leader of the Clippers team? Who is their leader? Is it Ty Lue? That's fine. Maybe it's Ty Lue. Definitely. You'd love it to be Definitely a player. Time. And you I know we're not. I, let me player. say something. We don't talk about body language enough. You know who I'm, a, I'm, I'm changing? How great has Kyrie Irving been in this playoff? Like, look at, he scored, he was one of seven for three, scored 14 points. I'm looking at him a little differently. Luka Doncic and Kyrie, they're playing like winners. They're guarding. They they're are. defending. They are. I, I, I know we're talking about the Clippers, but this Dallas team is making this Clippers team ask those hard questions. They're putting these questions to them by the okay. way Dallas is playing.